What's going on, Hair Force? Rocking Chris, rocking the freaking long hair. Show it off, dude. <laughs> there it is. Look at all uh, that. Guys, uh, we are so excited because if you guys aren't aware, uh, patch 6.1 drops on the 12th and uh, included is a ton of content. So we thought we'd, you know, film our thoughts uh, leading into the patch and ideally as a way to kind of revisit these after. But what we're focusing on today is the PvP conversation. First and foremost, I'm actually seeing a ton of positive chatter within the 14 community about crystalline conflict chris you've been live streaming more of the story so maybe you've heard the same or heard different what what's the what's your read because you even posted kind of a uh, kind of a prep guide for the upcoming pvp over on gaming kind of dude uh what, what what's the what's your read dude i did so i posted a getting started guide for crystalline conflict because i think the amount of people interested in this is substantially larger than just the pvp community not even the people who like want pvp but don't like it as it currently is like it's everybody who currently likes it, everybody who wants to like it. But I think there's also a, another group of people that are wanting to try this out. And for anybody that's familiar with like Splatoon and Overwatch and all these different kind of small man PvP style games, an objective that you kind of tug a war, either pushing forward or pulling back, isn't that wildly uncommon. It's mm -hmm. not a new game type. Um, but for a lot of people, it's going to be brand new. Yeah, this is going to be something they've never done anything like this before. I don't think Final Fantasy is trying to invent the wheel. They're not a PvP game. I think they're trying to say, hey, how do we get a mini game distilled down version of a game type that we think is a good fit? Um, I, overall, I think people are really excited about it. They at least want to try it. I think also there's a lot of people. The community has gotten a lot bigger in the last five years. Mm -hmm. And it's been five years since Garo. So assuming yeah. everybody that was here five years ago. That's is, huge. Yeah, did it, which That's not huge. everybody did. Right. Uh, so there's plenty of people who have been around longer than five years. Like I only have the Black Mage set mm -hmm. and one of the mounts. Yeah. Because that was the amount of PvP that I was having fun. And I was not at a point in my life where I was like, I'm going to push. As, uh, mu as much as I whine about FOMO, it is something that gets me to do things. And I have the whole, I have all the, the Garo stuff. So it's like, I got all the mounts. I'm very, very happy. People, they get pulled out randomly and people are like, what is that mount? And I'm like, I've got bad news like that. I hate saying that. I hate saying that in 14. I've got bad news, right? Like, so with this coming back, you, you're going to hear me beat the drum of get it done. Start now today. Like, hey, do the raid. Okay. All right. Do the story. Checkmate. Let's PVP. Like if you ever wanted to get these, I don't know when it's going away. And that's, that's part of the challenge is that if it, assumedly will eventually like retire again my hope is that if it is end up being a cycle where it comes out you know goes away i'm fine with that but what my hope is overall based off of this alone and based off of the like just the core changes maybe and this is again my hopium for 14 like maybe what if there was like they end up having we're just gonna pick a number six and so you kind of have six events that run for set period of time i don't know two patches three patches who cares but then there's always an event going on and then that event does you know comes back that would ultimately kind of say okay yeah you missed it this round but it's going to be back in a year and a half like if you really want it you know in, in that regards because clearly for as much as i whine about it fomo did make me go and finish those mounts where i was like oh man i finished them with plenty of time but as soon as they announced that they were going away the first time i was in i was going in doing exactly what i needed to do there I couldn't do the wait times. I mean, at the times I was playing, mm. I couldn't do the wait times. Yeah. It wasn't that I didn't. I probably would have would, would have done just the mounts and not yeah. the glamours uh, and stopped had there been no wait times. So I will say that like Relic, um, where I do think there's a group of people who will like this long term, um, no matter how many people that is, it will always be less than the number that try it. Mm -hmm. So just like Relics, even if people are like, I really love your Bozja, I really love Eureka, there is nothing like getting in early. Um, so I do think crystalline conflict is going to be something that like week one is going to be really, really exciting. And that doesn't mean you don't have time to go finish your MSQ. You don't have time to go do your Alliance raid, but like those first couple weeks, once you've finished kind of your initial taste, like you only do your Alliance raid once per week. And the first week will be the slowest. It's going to be just a disaster. The term, the term annihilated was a translation thing from the Japanese interview. And I was like, I'm sure they didn't mean a word that severe, but sometimes week one Alliance raids. <laughs> It is annihilated is 100% the right word. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, I died like 20 times. Like, <laughs> um, 
I love week one alliance raids. I, I find them immensely fun, yeah. uh, especially oh, yeah. if they do something like the math boss or something like that, where people are like, how do I do it? And it's like, you just have to do it. I don't, I can't hold your hand. Um, I love that. Cause you just see half the party get yeeted the next time you're busy laughing at them. You're like, Oh, that's so funny. And then you're yeeted and you're like, Oh, I, I, I adore yeah. those moments on the alliance raid though. Just like, I know we're talking about PVP and we'll do alliance raid focus talk here in a little minute, but budget like an hour to clear it the first time uh sometimes you get lucky and you can get a group that just rolls on it um typically speaking where you end up getting into this where i think i see people get frustrated is they get into that alliance roulette you know kind of oh yeah this is about 20 minutes and then all of a sudden you're like how are we in here for an hour and a half like you know we're still on boss three and yeah like you said dropping in and dropping out especially because you get a lot of people returning what 6.1 represents especially with pvp and i shared this in my own video and i've told this to chris privately like i feel at this moment and i've been feeling this like consistently so it really is gonna we'll find out if it's true on the 12th i'm gonna i don't i don't know if i'm jumping in the raid first i think i might be jumping into pvp first i think i might be logging in and saying story and all that i'll, I'll get with you in a minute like i'm glad you're here but i've got to go i've got to see if this is this is what i've been wanting like i'm generally excited because if 14's pvp history is is one of just a, like a case study and, and lessons of like a struggle that it's like, I'm happy it's there, but it clearly has never connected for like a variety of reasons. And they've continued to add in modes and things like that. Like Mr. Happy posted a great video kind of going over like the history of it and his actually hopes, but that's actually one of the things I'm seeing again, back tying into people who excited online, like happy's talking about PVP. Like you and I know firsthand posting on PVP like is a, is a great way to like, you know, get a couple hundred views. Like just, it's nothing. And I've had people approach me prior to this saying, I want to do the, I want to be the final fantasy 14 PVP content creator guy. And I'm like the, the, the encourager in me, because that's, I struggle with it. Cause sometimes I'm like, am I encouraging people and not giving them like the reality of the news? But I'm like, you go for it. We definitely need some PVP guys. And then essentially it's like, you realize like nobody was really interested in PVP like the best best way to describe pvp up to 6.1 is do you like calendars great here's where you want to play <laughs> like here's when you want to play because that's how the community had to default so that they can they can exist i think this is going to be kerosene to the pvp community i think this is going to light them on fire i think it's going to bring in a lot more casuals and i think casuals yeah. are going to be the base like they're going to be the sweats that are going to have like the healer in every group right but then there's going to be the casuals who are like, I'm just here to move a crystal down the field. And that's what I'm really excited to see. And I really hope that this also helps in terms of like the content cycle. Oh, when six two four months, not a problem. We got PVP. Like you can, you can go and like, you can live in PVP for a month or two and, and be completely satisfied. What do you think? I, I think it's going to depend a lot on how the reward structure feels. Mm -hmm. How does the experience out of it feel? What do these new mom stone, tome stone, crystal things do? Um, how many of them does it take to buy something? They had originally said, don't worry, our battle pass is not going to be this FOMO thing. There's going to be this shop. You're going to earn these stones and then you're going to be able to buy things from past seasons. And then they said, yeah, the past this season will be available for one additional season. So it's still an eight month FOMO. So like, it's not this like, hardcore you know supreme drop type moment but it's definitely going to be unobtainable at some point i was hoping it was something that would kind of flesh more out over time like maybe they would go back and add um you know other mounts that have been hard to get over the years kind of make it like an ongoing moogle tombstone event um and so maybe if these things cycle like you said earlier then it's like okay it's available for two at a time and then it comes back in two years like that's fine i, I think that uh like the yokai watch stuff it went away for like four years but when it came back it was like it came back that plus so like with the garo stuff mm -hmm. are they going to be you know are they supporting the the new classes each time so it's always like oh it's garo plus whatever classes have come out since the last time there was garo you know and there's one additional mount color or something like that or is it always going to be the same items each and every time like how do, what does this look like does it come back regularly um the final fantasy 15 event we were telling you like like get your car because we don't know if this comes back right we don't it's not a predictable cycle it comes back when they're ready to sell more copies of 15 and if they're ready to move on from selling copies of 15 then there's no reason to bring that event back again um because that's what it was timed with it's been right. timed with like okay we've got a new collector collector collector's edition of 15 um and and so <laughs> this is this seems to be timed with like i've, yeah. I've heard there's like a garo mobile app type thing coming out and so you would be reliant on a time that final fantasy and garo 
there's something in it for both of them. Um, as good opposed point. to Very good like point. The monster hunter stuff. The game type itself is going to be incredibly casual, super fast. I think the yeah. rewards will have to be less than front lines because like you're talking five minute rounds. Well, and it's that's, I think, fast. the important thing, because like when we played and, and our feedback that we gave like four years ago, we made a video and it's like people are like, we don't want PVP. And it's like, I, we do. <laughs> um, when we gave it, it's like the 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 wait times are just like get rid of roles like just say like everybody can just play and just you know you can have like a, if you want a hyper competitive like rule driven mode okay th there's that and it's just not going to going to live or the other option we said is like tell us what roles you need like i just want a pvp if you're looking for a healer or a tank because they had it break down off of melee or like physical closeness and and ranged like you had to have one of each of the roles and so it ended up being like you don't know what they're looking for you could be in queue and you could be like oh if you switch to an archer right now you'd be in pvp you just don't know and so it's like it's just been this like this constant struggle and thus queue times have have become or the the schedule calendar have become the de facto so you're 100 on right on rewards but i think that's going to actually mean that you get more matches in and i think that ultimately when you think of kind of your time investment if you're actively playing I think you, I think the rewards are just going to pile up and they're going to go and look and go, oh, well, that was fun. And oh, my gosh, now I'm doing X, Y and Z. Now I've unlocked X, Y and Z. But you're right. It, they're like the one of the things I'm generally curious on, especially with the battle pass. How long does it take me to unlock each tier? Is each tier level required the same or does it and can you increase? Does it continue to increase to get more difficult towards the end? Are there bonuses? Are there perks? Are there ways to kind of speed that up? Like all of this is something where I'm just like, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store with 14 again. And this is, has me just like oh. going like let's overwhelmingly go. positive. Overwhelmingly going well. positive. Right. Um, I, I do think that like, so remember when you queue for PVP, you can't be queued for something else. Exactly. So if the rewards aren't set high enough. If you have a 10 minute wait for this crystal conflict for a five minute thing, and then rewards that are appropriate for a five minute thing in that time, maybe you could have queued for leveling roulette. And so for people that still have rewards that they're chasing, yeah. now for people that don't have rewards they're chasing, then find things like new game plus really fun and all that. They don't need rewards. That's great. Um, but I think that the lifeblood of PVP in this game has always been a question of wait times. And so mm -hmm. overwhelmingly, I think this is something I'm really excited about. I'm looking forward to enjoying it. Um, we've seen new modes come before, but this was like, hey, we're like deleting fees to really funnel people into this. We're really encouraging it. We're building a whole new reward system around it. There's a lot of hallmarks here that aren't there when they add things like, like around the same time they added Rival Wings. It didn't get this same amount of love and overhaul mm -hmm. to the system where every job got this drastic rebalance to kind of shift where they are saying something as broad as you don't really need healers anymore. Like it, this is like, okay, if, if there are no rules, no assumptions, what would you do different when we add another mode? And so there, it seems like that brainstorming meeting happened and this is the result. And so I, I think overall, um, I'm really excited to see what this becomes. I'm excited to see, of course, the content that comes around it because that's what we get to see. But there's going to be a lot of people consuming this just from their own home. And I hope that the overwhelming community enjoys it. I know there will be a handful that are bummed. Feast is gone. Um, and there will be a few that this isn't their thing, but like, I hope overwhelmingly, this is at least something that we like the same way we like, like golden saucer gates, right? Something that like, I'm around, I'm not doing anything. It popped up. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. Um, that's kind of the pacing that it sticks in my mind. If golden saucer gates were something that I didn't have to be in the golden saucer to know they were up. If I just, if I just knew that with a couple minutes notice, I could go do a gate. Yeah. I would do gates all the time. It's like, Hey, Brian said he wants to do something in 15 minutes. Um, you know, today we were going to sit down and record when I was available. You said, Hey, can you give me 15 minutes? Right. If on my screen, it popped up and said, mm, you gates know, up. leap of faith is up. Okay. And so like this yeah. hopefully is that thing, that thing. That's just like, always it's ready. Up, it's ready. Ready to go. It's fun. Um, yeah. Especially five minutes, right? Like, cause you're right. Like minutes. if you have a, if you have a 10 minute wait for a five minute reward, like ultimately you're looking at a 15 minute investment, unless you find a ways to fill in that, that 10 minutes, which there are things to do, but Peace everybody runs. everybody's going to have Hunts. a different return on that current you know on that 10 minutes right chatting i mean hell like you know i like to sit here and talk to the free company uh, you know so it's like every you're right but if it's like always up always available and you're like oh 15 minutes that's three matches you're like you're like i could get three matches of pvp in while i'm just waiting you know to do something else wait a minute now you're t now you're all of a sudden you're talking about a mode that makes that enhances all the game even for people who don't want to PVP, you do not have to PVP and your game will think be a bit better for having that as an option for players who want to go and do that and inviting in more, just removing these restrictions, 
giving everybody self heals. Like there's going to be some strategic stuff. There's going to be a lot. I think that what I hope is, is this, this is the foundation that allows kind of a PVP, you know, focused community to really kind of feel like they've been, you know, they got what they need. And then to see, hopefully maybe that stuff trickles into the other modes and, and, and what have you, because they have some really good modes, but they kept introducing them in a way that it was like, Hey, already small section of the, the 14 player base. How about you? How about we like give you something to compete for your time? So you don't know if rival wings is popping off or if front lines is where you need to be or feast is where you need to be, you know? So at the end of the day, I think this is generally, generally a positive. Chris just gave all y'all some really good app ideas, by the way. So if you're ever curious about like what kind of little app can you put on Chris's iPhone, it would be like tell him when gates are popping off, tell him when those little things are a little notify. So that way he can be like, oh, <laughs> and you might see uh, that actually come uh, come to reality. So app ideas for all of our de devs in the community. Chris, uh, why don't you take us out? Uh, guys, there's going to be a lot to learn about this, a lot of balances. So um, definitely look out there for guides. Definitely look out there for kind of feedback. And let's let's see communities grow around this. I'm sure the existing PvP communities are going to just crush this out of the gate. Uh, and so I'm really thrilled that this is their day in the sun. Um, let's let's talk about raids next. We're going to be talking about all this 6.1 stuff. So keep it here. We'll see you, you next here. time. Take care.